sampradayas. What are the four sampradayas we know? Brahma sampradaya, Krishna. How we can understand how Brahma knows Krishna. He is the first created being. And after he was born, he did Sivya Tapasya to get God realization. And after that, he launches a party called Brahma Sampradaya. So not only there is creation Krishna, Krishna through his devotees tries to reclaim the conditioned soul. One side he is giving them to opportunity to enjoy their perverted foolish desires. What can be done? He is not happy about it. It's not that he is sanctioning, he is very happy. It's like I said no, many times, father may give something, but he may not be very happy to give, he is forced. So similarly, somebody asks Krishna, why did Krishna put us, uh, Prabhupada, he asks, why did Krishna put us in this world? Prabhupada says, you forced him. Not that he wanted to. It's not a place we should have come, but we have forcefully come. Jabardasti. Just like a child wants to touch his, says, Mama, I want to eat chocolate, I want to eat chocolate, I want to eat. It's not good. Okay, eat, what can be done? So chocolate is at least not so dangerous. We say something still worse, correct? I want to eat meat, I want to, but you should not eat, it's not good for, no, I want to eat meat. Okay, eat. So it's not good for us, at our own risk, at our own risk, we have come to this world. But still, Krishna is the Supreme Father, so he thinks something should be done. So he inspires his devotees to launch parties to reclaim this soul, because Krishna is not going to touch our independence. That he is not going to take it. But it's for us, the opportunity comes through this bona fide sampradaya to reclaim. So let us go through the four sampradayas. Number one is Brahma. So Brahma is in touch with Krishna, we can understand. He is the first created being. Bhagavata mentions after he is born, he does Sirya Tapasya to get darshan first of Narayana and later of Krishna. Then, that is called Brahma Sampradaya, which is the famous Acharyas in the Sampradayas. Brahma, then Narada, very famous, Vedivyasa, Madhuvacharya, very famous. And in the branch of Madhva Sampradaya, we are in Lord Chaitanya. Previous to that, Lakshmipati, Madhvindapuri, Puri, Ishwar Puri, Lord Chaitanya, and then the Goswamis, and then the, you know, the Bhaktivinu Thakur, we can say Jag uh, Jagannatha Swabaji, Bhaktivinu Thakur, uh, so many Acharyas uh, in this Sampradaya, and our Srila Prabhupada, correct? All exalted Acharyas. Then, another Sampradaya, Sri Sampradaya, starts from Sri Sampradaya, starts from whom? Lakshmi. We can understand Lakshmi knows the Lord. She is the eternal concert, Ladini Shakti of the Lord. She is massaging the lotus feet of Narayana. Very much knows the Lord. Take a personal servant of the Lord. And she has a Sampradaya. And who are the many uh, uh, great Acharyas in the Sri Sampradayas? Namalwar, yes. Ramanuja Acharya, Yamuna Acharya, the, all the twelve Alvas. Take a. And this is their Sampradaya. And. Uh, we prominently Acharya known as Ramanuja Acharya. Then, what is the other Sampradaya? Kumara Sampradaya. How do you know Kumaras know the Lord? They know that they are the Tapasya. They went to the spiritual world itself. We heard from their father. They are the sons of Brahma. First four sons of Brahma who remain Brahmachari. Uh, in fact, father was very upset. He said, become grihastha, populate the universe. But that's the service I am giving you. He said, no, we will not do the service. We remain Brahmachari. So Sometimes men have that opportunity. They can remain Brahmachari. And then what happens? They go to the spiritual world and then they see Narayana. So at the, till that moment they don't know the personal aspect of the Lord but they only know we are not body or spirit soul. But they have an information about the Lord but they have not realized. When they see the Lord, He's so beautiful. With Narayana, he's, Narayana is walking with Lakshmi and people are doing Chamara and you know the Bhagavatam explains the beauty of the whole scene. Just like in a movie, they set the stage. Bhagavatam is full of variety. They explain that scene in like one chapter. Uh, Narayana is walking, Lakshmi behind, and you know, there is the umbrella. In umbrella, there is the pearl. They go to the full detail, you know. Isn't it? When the scene is staged in the movie or they do decoration, they go to every detail. What the pearl here, they say. Full, they describe this beautiful scene. And when the four Kumaras come and see that scene, the Narayana, they almost faint. It's so beautiful. And on top of it, when they smell the Tulusi and the lotus feet of Narayana, they are finished. In fact, very nice painting devotees are made. The four Kumara small boy, somebody is looking like this. Somebody is very beautiful painting. You have seen the painting? An amazing painting. And then, so they become great devotees after that. Uh, great devotees. Previous to that, they were impersonalists. 
then they now become Vaishnavas, great Acharyas, and they launch their party. Now, which becomes a great Acharya in the Sampradaya? Kumara. Yes. Nimbarka. You go to Vrindavan, near Govardhan, you will see they have. In fact, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took from East Sampradaya two principles. And very important principle, Radha Krishna worship and the super excellent devotion of gopis to Krishna. These two, so two points were taken from this sampradaya, which are rather the most important part of our sampradaya. From Madhva sampradaya, he took the worship of Krishna and the Krishna's form is real. Ramaraja sampradaya took about uh, the service to Vaishnavas. What are the other thing? Yeah. And then they, he took two elements also from the sampradaya of Vishnu Swami. He combined into four, into our sampradaya. Even though we are part of Madhva sampradaya, Chetan Mahaprabhu has actually given us essence of all the four sampradayas. Take care. Then, so this is the contribution of Nimbarka. Yes, what is the next sampradaya? Rudra sampradaya, Lord Shiva himself. Lord Shiva is generally misunderstood as independent God. It's not true. Uh, it's not true. He doesn't say that, neither Shastra says that. Bhagavad Gita Krishna says, Matta Paratharana Anya, nobody higher than me. Aham Adivi Devanam. I am the source of all the Devatas. Aham Sarva Seprabhu. Everything is coming from me. Brahma Samhita explains that Shiva is like milk turned into curd. It is not milk. At the same time, it is milk. <laughs> curd is milk. So it's not easy to understand Lord Shiva's position. He is not a Jiva Tattva. Hmm? Even Brahma is a Jiva Tattva. Shiva is not a Jiva. He is Shiva Tattva which is much higher than the jivas. He's extremely powerful, almost Vishnu. There are five things he doesn't have, what Vishnu has. Otherwise, he's almost Vishnu. Okay? So in that way, that is the position of Lord Shiva, very, very exalted. In fact, Bhagavatam, wherever Shiva is visited, he is always seen glorifying the Lord. When in Bhagavatam, he meets the Prachetas, he gives them beautiful prayers to the Supreme Lord, again and again. In fact, he is called Vaishnavanam Yatha Shambhu, meaning among the Vaishnavas, if you want to say a topmost Vaishnava, that is Shambhu, topmost devotee of the Lord. Okay? So he also launches a Sampradaya, he knows the Lord. And then who becomes a prominent Acharya in his Sampradaya? Vishnu Swami. In fact, this Sampradaya even predates Shankaracharya. It's much, much before. So these four are called bona fide sampradaya. Shankaracharya teachings, we have all respects, but it was limited. It was only needed at the time to uh, demolish the Buddhist teachings. For a particular purpose, Buddha had come and people became mediators. So he took away the Vedas because they're misusing the Vedas. You find jokers even today. They say in the Vedas, meat eating is sanctioned. But it is sanctioned only with restriction for very tamasic people, not for everybody. One man's food is the other man's poison. For very tamasic people it was recommended, not for everybody. Okay? And with a lot of restrictions. But people just made fun of all the restrictions and became total meat eaters. On the, based on the Vedas. So that was very, when very furious. The Lord came down uh, for complete misinterpretation of the Vedas. He became very upset. He took away the Vedas. Ninda, they say, the Vedas are saying that uh, there is uh, meat eating. Nindasi Veda. Don't touch this book. You don't know how to read. Ahimsa Paramo Dharma. Let us go back to the basics. We should not give pain to another living entity. Okay? That's how the Buddhism started. But then the Buddhism has something had to be done. This is not everything. There is no teaching of the Veda. So we accept Buddha, we reject his teachings. Clear? As incomplete. That portion is fine. You should not give pain to other person. But otherwise we reject the teaching. But he doesn't talk about soul or God. There is no spiritual teachings there. Be nice, be good. In fact, mostly religions have degraded to that level only. Be nice, be good, that's all. That Arjuna taught in first chapter of Bhagavad Gita and Krishna rejected that. Be nice, be good. Okay? He reached the summit of be nice, be good. And still these problems are not solved. So your problem is not be solved. You are in a Kasai Khana. Come back to a scene. And uh, your neck is going to cut. Be nice, be good will not help. You have to run away from this Kasai Khana. You need information how to get out of this Kasai Khana. So therefore, in step by step, uh, first knowledge was Ahimsa Paramo Dharma. Don't give pain to other living entities. Uh, that is Buddhist teaching. But then Shankaracharya wanted to introduce his Lord Shiva himself. He, was, he says in the, he was sent by the Lord himself in the scriptures. What he has to do to give the basic information. That, therefore, Veda Vyasa predicts Shankaracharya's incarnation. He says, what does he say? Prachamna Baudam. Pachavna Baudam 
Uchate. What is the shloka? Mayavada Asashashram. His teachings are called Mayavada. Why is called Mayavada? He says when God comes to this world, he is also covered in Maya. This is called Mayavada. It's very offensive. God is not touched by Maya. Maya is his energy. Huh? We explained so many times, you know. If something is my energy, it is under my control, not the energy will control me. Correct? Maya Vada Vasa Shastram Prachamda Bhavada Muchyate. This is the work of Shankaracharya. We have all to give due respect for bringing the knowledge of the soul, Brahman, and bringing some Vedic literature back to the society, but he gave only one aspect. Just like Buddha says, it's all dark. Shankaracharya says it's not dark because Buddha said it's Shunya. After your death, everything is finished. Almost akin to what this childish scientists say. So Buddha says something similar, but he at least gives some philosophy. At least he said, don't give pain to other people. These people don't even say that. Correct? At least he was a gentleman. His teachings are much better than them. And then next is the teachings of Shankaracharya, which gives next level. That you're not body, you're spirit, soul. So that after you're finished, body is finished, everything is not finished. Soul remains. Brahman remains. So there is light. Brahman. Brahma Jyoti is there. But then in the Brahma Jyoti, there are colors. Shankaracharya did not say there is variety in colors. There are various colors in light. Just like we say seven colors are there, correct? That information Brahma has not given. Brahma Jyoti, there is variety. There is the whole spiritual world with unlimited variety. That information was not given by Shankaracharya. The four Vaishnava Acharyas have given. Some have given even before Shankaracharya came. As far as I know, two definitely came after Shankaracharya. One is Ramanacharya and Madhvacharya. Vishnu Swami also came before Shankaracharya. Uh, Nimbarka, I have to check where it is. Did he come before or later? So these Acharyas are there. Okay? So the Vaishnava Acharyas then continue about Madhva Chari, uh, or Shankara Acharya. So that's fine, you are not body or spirit, but there is variety. Okay? So then we this uh, we have to cover the four Sampradayas. One is uh, Sampradaya of Brahma. Madhva Acharya is the prominent Acharya. Then the Sampradaya of Lakshmi, who is the prominent Acharya? Ramana Acharya. The Sampradaya of Lord Shiva, who is the prominent Acharya? Vishnu Swami and Sampradaya of Kumaras, Prominent Acharya Nimbarka. Okay? And this is not, I am saying, the mentioned in the scripture. It says, Sampradaya Vihina Mantra Nishphala. If you go outside the Sampradaya and try to learn, everything is a waste. Just like, suppose you want to learn engineering. In Mangalore, there are some registered 10, 15 colleges. Go there and learn. If you say, no, I will sit in some shop, I know, I will uh, figure out. You have to properly learn. But true, in engineering, as far as I consider, better go to the shop. Be on the field. You'll learn better. Eh? And the Shudra knowledge, there is no need of institution for it. It's a waste of time. You want to learn how to bend iron, go to the Loha shop. No. Why you said studying what is the matter? He will tell you. Practically, he'll tell you. What is needed, practically, will teach you. In fact, many companies have a wonderful training program. Just like, you know, I was a mechanical engineer. I joined Infosys. And they trained us within less than four or five weeks, we were ready to make softwares. What I studied four years has zero value. <laughs> Actually, it is true in so many ways, true? So many ways. Maybe some co-branches, something is there. They have complicated actually. Material energy, we do not need to do so much uh, waste of time. Our energy should be actually used to understand spiritual knowledge. We are discussing on Saturday night, Prayasa. There are six things which destroy Bhakti. What are the six things we discussed? First thing is Atyahara. If we eat more than necessary or acquire money more than necessary or acquire even knowledge which is not needed. That is what they are doing. Acquiring knowledge which is not needed. Now I want to know what is the grass made of. Are Baba, grass is made of something but this Kasai is going to cut my neck. Now what I am going to do with it? Correct? I have my, where should be my focus? Where should be my focus? To get out of the slaughterhouse or what the grass is made of? What are you going to do? Eat something and figure out how to <laughs> get out of the well. You get lost in that. So somebody is actually giving information. How to get out of the, uh, the slaughterhouse. Hear that. For that you don't have time. Have your time for so many other things. Fursatilla. There is no time to hear about Krishna. Correct? But he has time for all stupid things. So we should be very, very cautious. Not to get lost. So, uh, these four sampradayas are for our own safety. We should take knowledge from them. Bhagavad Gita is so wonderful. Not only it is giving knowledge, it is telling how to receive and be trained in this knowledge. 
इट सेस एवं परंपरा प्राप्तम इमव राजय शैव दुह दिस नॉलेज शुड ओनली बी टेकन इन गुरु परंपरा एंड प्रॉपर दिस नॉट पॉइंटिंग आउट कलयुग द एज ऑफ अपसंप्रदाय एनी बडी कम्स एंड स्टार्ट स्पीकिंग एनी थिंग अरे बाबा इट्स वेरी सीरियस बिकॉज दिस दिस इज अ रिसीव नॉलेज दिस इज अ रिवील नॉलेज दिस नॉट अ प्रत्यक्ष नॉलेज चाइल्ड इज प्रत्यक्ष नॉलेज प्रत्यक्ष ऑल्सो देर इज नो गैरेंटी बट एटलीस्ट इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू ही बेंड्स एन आयरन इन शोज यू करेक्ट बट हेयर आई एम टेलिंग समथिंग एंड यू आर फेथफुली लिसनिंग टू मी यू आर नॉट सीन इट मे बी इवन आई हैव नॉट सीन बट आई एम रिपीटिंग वट आई हर्ड फ्रॉम एन आचार्य दिस इज अ रिवील नॉलेज सो यू हैव टू बी एक्सट्रीमली केयरफुल अबाउट द ऑथोरिटीज जस्ट लाइक से देर इज अ बॉम्ब ब्लास्ट से इन पाकिस्तान टूडे Now I have to look to some information from a place which is authorized. You know there are evening newspapers sometimes in some places. They speak anything. You have seen that. There are every town has some kind of newspaper. They just write anything, and actually it's never happened that thing. They just make what we call sensational. They blow it hundred times. Till ka pahar banana we say. Okay, small thing they'll make. Oh, big riots started. This is some people have that thing. They just make masala and make it very very. Even friends have that. Small thing will happen. They will tell as if full riots happen. So it may be like that. So you do not know whether the source is bona fide. We are getting a correct information. So you want information about Krishna, about the spiritual world. You cannot see. It is beyond your capacity. The things which you cannot see, don't speculate. Like I cannot see now what is happening in your college. I have no capacity to see. Correct? I can't. My eyes have no power to see. So I have. To, I should not speculate. I should ask an authority. What's what's there? Can okay? I agree or not? Suppose you want to know what percentage marks I passed my engineering, you have to ask me. <laughs> Recently, they did this drama. What is the relevance of that? Such third-rate people. They want to know what prime minister, what marks he got. Hey, <laughs> Baba, <laughs> you have better things to do. Take it. So you want to know? Then you have to ask me. You cannot speculate on it. Correct? Can you speculate? I'll sit and speculate. that's not the way if something is beyond your power of uh, knowing you have to hear from an authority that's what we do in our whole life don't we do that don't we do that karte nahi karte or do we sit and imagine suppose i want to know which school you studied in first class i should ask you why sit and imagine you know that's funny but today that's what people like proper therefore says imagine a logic it's very funny so similarly if you want to know about krishna You can never know. Panthasti koti sadavasa rasam pragamyo vayo rathapi manaso muni punga vana so api yes prapata chimne avasint tatve Govinda madhi purusham tamam bajami says for crores of years, koti bees, crores of years, huh? And you travel with the speed of air. You know the wind speed is very high. Not when it's Travels when you have a cyclone and all the spin becomes very speed becomes very very high. Correct? All trees, everything will be uprooted. You travel at the speed of wind, or you travel at the speed of mind. Mind is very powerful. I can now think about Delhi. I can think about my home in Delhi. Mind, tuck, it goes. Whatever you've gone highest, furthest, you can think about that. So mind can travel very fast actually. But even higher than the speed of mind, higher than the, it's not that. Prabhupada said they didn't have; they had instrument to travel at that speed. Otherwise, why they are talking about it? Why they are talking about it? Don't think they are buddhus. Vayur or thapi manoso muni pangavana. They had means to travel at the speed of air and the speed of light. Today you do not have. and even if it is you have those means to travel at those speeds so up yes prabhata chimne avatintu tatva even then god is unknown you will not be able to reach vaikuntha you will not be able to see the lord it is not possible for you correct right? it will remain unknown so how do i know about krishna then how do i know about vaikuntha you have to hear from the authorities there is not there is no other way There is no other way. You have to hear from the authority. That is sampradaya. You understand this? You got it very clear now. It cannot be imagined. And today, what is happening is that why is the people confused? And any sampradaya, basically, information is same. Just like four registered colleges, information is same. They were teaching their own way. So that similarly, the four sampradayas teach in their own way, but information is same. So Lord Vishnu is supreme. We are all his servant. We should serve him with devotion, love. 
without any personal metal desire that's all and they speak in different ways they explain in you know different arguments but the information is correct but today kaliyuga the age of apasampradayas in fact prabhupad goes even stronger he says whole world is mad because they say there is no god indians are doubly mad why because they make any man as god whole world is mad because they deny god indians are doubly mad because they make anybody as god there are hundreds of gods are roaming all around india so when even they can create gods what about sampradaya anywhere you go first please tell me which sampradaya you are if you know sampradaya don't hear him correct okay? you go to a doctor will take operation done will get your operation done the doctor uh, no quack no degree nothing will take a chance correct okay? why people are taking chance because they are not serious in spiritual life that is their main problem they are not serious isn't it you check 100 time anything you are investing your money in a bank will you check the bank is registered or not or you put anywhere if it is some uh, so called unregistered bank so many banks like this also exist your your money may be lost true you are investing your money in shares will you check about the company something also or you simply put money nobody will do the very reason people are going to upper sampradaya the reason, reason is they are not serious they are not serious about spiritual life they go for some funny thing because if they getting cheated they should also be fit to be cheated because in the god's kingdom there is no nothing unjust they just go you know some back pain is there some headache is there the child is not getting admission in engineering college something funny my son is sitting at home unemployed or my wife has run away so all their material problems they go to the so called gods or gurus for that okay and then they will tell something funny and that's all the cheating is going on nobody goes just like arjuna when to krishna please tell me what i am supposed to do ha huh? shreyas was ultimately good for me i am your disciple now please instruct me who am i just like sanatan goswami went to lord chaitanya he asked two questions Kami in Bengali, who am I? And then next question, why I'm suffering in this world? Tapatraya, why I'm suffering? If you have these two questions, then only go to a guru. Prapa says never, don't keep guru as a fashion, and never go to guru without a submissive ear. So first you should locate somebody which you can, and that's true for anything. No, you go to a, don't go to a doctor when you don't want to hear him. Will you go to a doctor? Suppose you. Uh, decide i'll go to a doctor and doctor says you should take that medicine so i will not take why you came here then you should be common sense so proper without a submissive ear don't go to a spiritual master and then we should have questions i am having fever and i am having some problem what should i do i says take this medicine take this thank you doctor correct isn't it we follow in all our uh, you have a legal problem you go to a lawyer lawyer said do this no, i'll not do how why you came then wasted my time <laughs> you should uh, if you have you know i am an authority so that come so how do you know somebody the authority two ways number one he should be authorized that is sampradaya number two he should deliver the goods he should be effulgent not that i am authorized i am the best doctor i am from aims i got gold medal in md from aims in surgery but last record is 10 patient all 10 patient died on the operation theater correct okay? and i am scared of you <laughs> so you should work also it should work also so similarly we should be uh, first thing is authorization evam parampara pratham second thing the work the person's hearing should be able to come out of the three modes of material nature and develop attraction for the lord gyana attraction for the lord and detachment from this world shri prabhupad ki shri mad bhagavatam ki